This is a clip from a longer conversation. To watch the full interview, check out the link in the description. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Hello, Fernanda. I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. From my understanding, you were able to pass the CFA, all three levels of the CFA the first time. And then you've also been on the other side, like grading CFA exams, right? Yeah, I've also been a, a proud member of the CFA Institute's advisory group since 2019. Well, two basic questions, right? First, I'm pretty sure everybody wants to know what your secret is to passing all three levels the first time. So that's a little <laughs> bit of a unicorn situation. And then since you were a grader, um, from that point of view, what's the best thing that students can focus on when they're taking the test? Sure thing. Um, well, you know, there is really no, not a big secret or anything about passing the exams. Um, there is no secret that there, there is a lot of material to cover. Uh, I think what worked well for me was one, to spot what is relevant to know, and two, what I would call cracking the exam code. Um, you know, at the time, with the limited time I had at hand with a full time job, it was crucial that I do not start reading the books from page one from beginning to the end. Um, you would just simply not have enough time to do that, right? Um, and at the time, there was also second to non multimedia learning solutions. You know, all the ed tech stuff that we have today just didn't exist. So I had to figure out an efficient way to maximize the intake of knowledge within a minimum amount of time. Um, so I did what I call bottom-up learning. Um, after getting an overview of the topics, I jumped straight into some sample exams first. Not trying to answer all the questions, but to get a feel of the exam style and you know, just basically looking at the code of the exam. Um, passing exams has a lot to do with cracking that code. And if you know what to expect, you can adapt your studies to focus on, on the right topics. Um, so for example, I figured in level one, for, for instance, it was all about speed. Uh, you know, it's all multiple choice. So you have 90 seconds to read and answer a question. Therefore, if you feel that you have no clue about the answer within the first 10 to 15 seconds, you have to move on to the next question and come back to it once you have answered all the other questions that you could easily take off. So many candidates fail because it, they, they get stuck with one question and spend just too much time trying to figure it out and then discover they are running out of time to answer the other questions, which they might have been able to answer much quicker. Right. Then for level two, um, which includes case studies, I didn't start by reading the case study from the beginning. I first read the questions as well. So I knew what to look for in the case study text and focus on these points. And that would also significantly help me to save time. And finally, level three was about being very concise in phrasing the answers to the essay questions. Having graded exams myself before, you know, I, I know that graders would look for certain keywords and clues. So what I did was to list out the bullet points first and only then start writing the essay around that structure. Okay. So yeah, really no big secret, <laughs> just a little bit of technique. <laughs> no, thank you. No, but it, it, it is helpful to know that maybe the approach for all three levels, even though the studying, like the routine might be similar, what you have to focus on in every test is different, right? And that's specifically related for, from what I take away to the time that you have per question, right? So, okay, perfect. So thank you yeah. for that. <laughs>